All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude, got a brand new episode for you today. Haven't seen you in a while, that's kind of my fault. So I wanna go ahead and come clean now and uh, we'll go ahead and move past it. But uh, I've, I've been basically worried about, you know, taking boards this year. So national boards were, were a big thing on my mind. I was doing my internship earlier in the year and then, uh, you know, Armageddon broke loose and then the quarantine happened and then I couldn't, you know, finish my boards and then I graduated chiropractic with my doctorate and then now I can't specifically practice just yet because I need to finish those national boards. So, I mean, there's a lot of different things pulling me in different directions, taking a bigger role over at Dream Media, helping you guys out, make your dreams come true with your home theater as well. And, uh, you know, I've just had different things. So I apologize. I've been filming during the quarantine, so you guys will start seeing those videos very, very shortly. But I wanted to go ahead and pump this video out real quick uh, because I know the company is basically itching for this unit back. There's only two of these in the entire United States. So this is the NAD T778. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and overview. I'm gonna do it right after the intro. All right, so let's get this sucker unboxed. All right, so what do you get in the box? Looks like you get some cardboard. <laughs> you get some literature here. I think that's gonna be the quick start guide. Besides that, it looks pretty uh, simple. So let's go ahead and pop this thing out of the box. Okay, so in here you also have an accessories box. I'm guessing this was supposed to be their video cover for the display. And that's the cool thing with this one. This actually has a uh, fully functional display, so it's kind of like a uh, smartphone in that you can touch it and it'll do whatever you want it to do. So let's go ahead and get this thing out of this packaging. Shout out to these guys for doing a really good job on this packaging. This looks like some pretty premium stuff here. Obviously, whenever you pay, you know, premium for your electronics, you don't want anything damaged in shipping. Or if you ever have to move this stuff, it's easy to go ahead and uh, ship it. So these get here. Woohoo! Man. So I think MSRP on this is $29.99. This looks like an actual premium product. It fills up a 3RU rack space. So if you guys can see this thing, it's actually pretty light too. Um, you can check it out right there. So pretty small. It's a little heavy, but uh, nothing too crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this in a minute, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what's in the accessory box. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? So everything's nice and laid out. So let me go ahead and just show this to you because I'm like experiencing this the same time you guys are. So everything is just nice and foam fitted into its own little compartment in the box itself. So there's two remotes in here. One's for the actual unit itself. So that goes to this unit. And then this one's kind of like a roving remote right here, the small one. And this is kind of like designed to be like your second, second zone type of remote. Obviously you get your batteries in here and then a couple different power cords depending on your location. So this one is for Europe. This one's for the United States. So that's a cool little feature that they put in there. They give you some rack ears. You guys know I like to rack mount things. And uh, my rack over here has been, it's, it's well served its purpose. It is way past due for an upgrade. I have long overgrown it and I have things just sitting right on top of it, as you guys can see. So, I mean, I. It kind of defeats the purpose of having things rack mounted if they're not in the rack. So um, always consider, you know, heat requirements, always consider spacing, proper spacing between them all. And then think about that. So always buy more rack than you think you're going to need. It's a pretty expensive uh, investment. So always just make sure you're going either one, one or two steps above what you think you're going to need now because you might need more later. Cool thing with these little rack ears is that you don't use these bolts again. They give you some longer ones to use for the rack mounting process over here. Oh, cool thing with this one, guys. Dirac Live comes on this thing shipped from the factory. So this is ready to go with Dirac Live. So you have your AutoCal set up right here with your microphone. It has a quarter 20 thread on the bottom. So if you guys want to go ahead and use that with you know, a standard tripod, that'll fit that scenario as well. Okay, so back here we have the Blue OS 
This is, if you guys aren't familiar with it, it is their form of whole home distributed audio. So if you want multiple zones going, you can basically have another set of amplifiers or you know even like a blue os device and then you can have different smart speakers in the house you can have different things playing on different zones independent volume control independent source control and all that so this is their little dongle that you attach to the receiver and then that's about it so pretty simple on the unboxing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the up close features and i'll go ahead and talk over it tell you guys some of the specs and what i think is really cool about this one Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off on the left side of the unit and do kind of like a clockwise function. Over here, we're gonna have our NAD badge. Below that, you're going to have your on-off switch. Over here, we have a simple uh, volume switch. And this thing is critical right here. I don't think a lot of companies actually utilize this as much as they should, but having an HDMI in the front of the unit is very, very critical, especially if you're gonna be rack mounting this thing. You don't wanna to have to pull your rack out, you know, fiddle with that thing. It's usually like 300 pounds whenever it's all said and done. So it's very, very important to have one of these on the front of the unit. It makes ease of access very, very easy rather than making it a headache to plug in a new component. Over here, we're gonna have a USB port. And then down below, we're gonna have this thing called modular design construction. So this is really cool what that NAT does. They actually have um, the, the foresight in their company to let the, the, the software, let, let the hardware, you know, continue to run its course. As things change, like uh, we're always in this constant revolving, you know, format war. So 4K is here, 8K is coming out. Um, and, you know, as these things adjust and upgrade, you don't have to throw this unit out. So what you can do is this has the little port on the back of it. So what you can do is as things upgrade, you can add in the new 8K HDMI boards as they come available. And then you can either send it to your uh, dealer to service it, or you can do it yourself. The guys at CES were telling me how simple it was just to do it yourself. So, I mean, that, that could save you some downtime as well. So if you wanna keep this unit for a little while, it makes more sense to be able to upgrade things rather than throw them out, you know, as these, uh, these formats change so rapidly. Over here, this whole unit is designed behind a uh, philosophy of high res. So if you guys aren't familiar with NAD, they're already uh, a very high quality brand in the first place. This translates into high quality audio on the unit and then the MQA little uh, decal right here. If you guys aren't familiar with that, this is kind of like a uh, decoder like that's already in the unit that you don't have to worry about. Specific high res um, companies, streaming services like Tidal and Cobuzz, they use that MQA type of uh, format. So you're able to stream directly to this device and you can stream with high res audio. And if you guys aren't familiar with high res audio and you guys have probably been listening to MP3s for, for the last you know 20 years, um, there's definitely like, it's like an onion. There's layers of music. There's layers of uh, you know different things and music that you probably, may not have heard so i definitely recommend you know downloading a, a service like title checking it out it's it, it really uh, lets you get that first-hand experience the first time you, you ever enjoyed that that soundtrack or that song or whatever it is over here you can stream with apple airplay 4k resolution like always you have your blue os bluetooth enabled obviously that uh, comes pretty standard on everything over here we have dts and dolby atmos and the biggest selling feature, I think, is the Dirac Live that comes on this unit directly from the factory. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to worry about it, you know, buying this and then, you know, a year later it becomes available. It is from the factory. It's Dirac Live and that's really cool. Uh, the things that I've heard about Dirac Live is that it is an ultra premium auto calibration service and it will really, really uh, shine um, over a lot of those other um, traditional calibration services. So I'm uh, really excited to go ahead and check that one out. I've been really wanting to try Dirac Live in my space for a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in just a little bit, I guess. Last thing over here, you're going to have a uh, massive headphone output jack. So if you want to use that with headphones, you can use your, you know, you can snuggle up to it, get in your favorite chair and listen to some high res audio and really get a nice experience going. Well, I think that's all for the front. So let's go ahead and pop this thing around at the back, show you guys the booty, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the, talk about the features on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about this over here. So this is the modular design construction. I was just talking about this on the front. 
you can pop this out and then as the new HDMI boards become available, you can upgrade them that way. Obviously, you're gonna have the more traditional stuff. You're gonna have your inputs over here. It has a phono stage input. Obviously, this is the ground for your phono stage input. And if you guys have never seen the back of one of these before, or you know, if it kind of gives you, um, you know, anxiety, very, very simply put, these are outputs right here. Anything in a kind of dotted area is gonna be an output. So anything that's not in a dotted area is gonna be an input. So it makes it, it makes it really easy for you guys to understand that way. So you have digital ends, you have coax ends, you have optical ends, you have you know room for a CD player, your record player, different things like that. So if you wanna use this as, cause it only has nine channels internal, right? You can plug in um, an additional stereo amplifier and make this thing work with 11 channels. So they're, they have these different uh, you know, speakers on here that are assignable. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you're just gonna use this thing right out of the box without putting on an amplifier, then you're only limited to nine channels. If you wanna add a stereo amplifier, you can use these because they're outputs, right? They're assignable. So it's an audio pre-out. You basically either, you can add it for surround backs or you can have it for heights, whatever you wanna do. So that's an option as well. Besides that, we have an on-off switch. We have a fan back here, which I think is really cool. Not a lot of processor companies use, utilize fans. And you know, you have to buy them after the fact um, to keep your unit, you know, nice and chilled. But besides that, uh, I think it's really cool that they added that into their design on this one. We have an RS-232 jack up here for um, automation. You have trigger outs. Another thing, we have a couple different IR blasters here. Besides that, you're gonna have an additional USB over here on the back, and then a LAN. So if you wanna have this connected to your network, you can as well. And then we're gonna have all of our HDMIs. So we have five HDMI ins plus the one on front. So that's gonna make six. And then you have two HDMI outs. So one more thing that I forgot is that this has full disclosure power. So now if you guys are researching AVRs and you're thinking about buying an AVR, you've probably seen, you know, on the box, it says that it's, you know, 140 watts a channel, 165 watts a channel, whatever it is. So now if, unless you're really paying attention to the facts, that company is more or less kind of doing a lie by omission because they're not really telling you exactly what it is. So now they may fudge facts by giving you power ratings in six ohms and four ohms, but most likely you're probably gonna be using an eight ohm type of um, system in a home theater environment. So now a lot of reason why people go to external amplifiers is because you know you're gonna constantly get that, you know, uh, 150 watts a channel every single time it turns on. And uh, same thing with this one. So this has full disclosure power. They're gonna give you 85 watts a channel and that's for all nine channels, all, dr all driven at the exact same time. Usually whenever you get a higher number, like 165 watts a channel or you know 140, that's for only two channels driven at one time. If you're using this for a home theater environment, chances are you're not just listening to two channels. So you have to factor in you know, using all those, those channels and then you're, you're probably looking more, al more along the realm of like 70 watts a channel. So it's kind of a crapshoot. They don't really tell you exactly what it is unless you get an independent company to come in and bench test these things. Not the problem with NAD because they give it right on the box and they tell you exactly the way it is. I think it's really admirable because a lot of companies, they're just gonna keep doing what they're doing. Um, but it's really cool that NAD actually, you know, gives you guys that uh, right on the box. Besides that, I think that's it. So I've gone over all the specs. I've gone over the entire unboxing. I've showed you guys the front, the back. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick uh, setup and I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a full on review, but that's for a later video. I know I've talked a lot in this one, but uh, it goes with the territory. Really appreciate you guys for watching. And uh, you know, hopefully this thing is uh, really, really cool. So I really can't wait to go ahead and get it hooked up. I've been itching to get this thing in the house since January at CES. Finally got it and uh, I'm a little rushed because we have to move within the next week or so. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get as much testimonial as I can for this specific unit. But I really appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Hit the little notifications bell. I know you guys aren't, I know you guys aren't in the, not the notification squad. I look at the analytics. So make sure you, that you guys are hitting that notifications bell. It really helps me get these videos out to you guys as soon as they come out. So I don't want you guys to miss out on these videos. We got all these brand new products coming out. I have a garage full of stuff that I still have to review and I wanna go ahead and get that stuff done before I move. So besides that, I think that's it. Go ahead and wrap it up here. I gotta go pick up my son from daycare and uh, catch you next time.